Hmm. It's Snack in Time coming up. Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, I am Rob, aka Twilight Collector, and welcome everybody here to a very special Monday Mail for, as you may have seen in the new opening slide, it's snacking time. That's right, I've ordered it once again, and uh, it's been received here now, this will be now my fourth snack crate mystery box here. My previous ones, I've done, I've done three previous ones here, they are actually in a playlist on my channel there, so if you want to go check out my previous three snack crates that came in from, I don't, I don't remember which order they're in here, but I got one in there from France, I got one in there from the Caribbean, and the third one I got in so far is from Poland, and that's how these cards, these cards here come inside the box here, and a box of snacks here from this particular country, Popular snacks is from these different countries. They come in a box like this. This is what they call an individual box from Snack Crate. This is an individual box here from Snack Crate. There's an individual box you can buy, and there's also a family size box you can buy. This box alone cost me about $30 Canadian. And I have this box here that I'm gonna open right here today. Then I've also ordered another one on the way there for I believe it's for August there, so. But well, before I get to this one, I just wanted to say thank you everybody out there who contacted me on IG from yesterday's video and wish me a happy birthday there. Thank you very much for your kind wishes there and hopefully by end of this year, YouTube actually recognize Trotter Collector as a channel. So anyways, now without further ado here, oh, right before I get to this one here, I want to open up this awesome mail call here I got from the awesome channel, The Poppin' Duo. This is a regular monthly newsletter that they ship to me every month or every couple months or whatever else and because uh, I have a patron and a cell member both from other channel right there and it sends me a, a updated letter as to uh, what's happening with the channel and also they sent me as you can see right here an updated sticker there as well this is one of the updated stickers right there very cool sticker right there. I have several of them already on my wall here because I've been a child member of theirs for a while there. Our patron of theirs for a while there. And I recently became a child member there as well. So, this is a monthly newsletter. This is sent out to all patrons or child members. I'm not quite sure which which it is. Patron or child member here. And so this monthly newsletter here is for um, April. And it is for June. April and June. Okay. I don't know what happened in May there, but okay. Oh, gosh darn it. That was definitely an oopsie. So this is another one of their fabulous stickers right here. Um, you can see right there it says, The Poppin' Duo is a star. And I do believe all the people on the channel there, Vince, Bree, Gabby, and Luca, they are definitely stars from Michigan, I'll tell you. They do Michigan proud right there. And they're stars from Michigan right there. And then another sticker right there. Oh, it looks like almost like a holographic sticker right there. On the Poppin' Duo right there. Great channel right there. If you're not familiar with their channel, we'll link it down below in the description of the video here. So this here is the older one here is April. I'm not sure what happened to May. Did I miss May? I'm not sure because it goes from April to June. Anyways. Um... It goes, uh, thank you for your unwavering support. Your su our success continues to grow, and you are a huge part of the reason. We are currently at 5,515 500, 5, subscribers on YouTube as of April. 2,198 followers on Instagram, and one point, and one, and almost 2,000 and whatnot. So they're doing really good there. We love reading comments that you, uh, that you all passed and, and uh, you all post. I appreciate each and every one of you. And it goes on and on and on like right there. I don't know who writes these letters. I don't know if it's uh, Vince or Bree writes these letters there. But it's it, they, you can tell it's an older one here. Because here in June, they, are, they went from 5,515 in April to 50, 
since the 882 in June, and I believe since then, I believe they they surpassed 6,000 there. So that's awesome newsletter there from the Pop and Duo right there, which I've been meaning to get to there. So I am definitely a proud patron and channel member of their channel right there. They do great videos all the time right there, and they're real funny. And they and once a month they do let uh, family live videos right there. So big shout out there to Vince, Bree. Gabby, and of course, Luca. Can't forget Luca right there. And uh, recently, there, Bree celebrated a birthday there. So happy belated birthday, Bree. You know, um, you definitely came down a little bit there by, by marrying Vince there. Vince, you definitely stepped up there a little bit, I'll tell you, because Bree's fabulous right there. I'm sure that Bree's probably like more of the backbone of the child right there. So, anyways, um, that, that, that's a great newsletter that's from them there. And actually, I have to send the Papa Duo down a soda. That I won in a family live. It was a Rudolph Common sort of I won in family live. Why well, didn't win, win Rudolph? I won another one. And then uh, I said to Vince, well, I already have the one I, I won. So can I get another one there? And he's going to send me Rudolph Common. Unfortunately, because maybe Vince had too much on the mind or whatever else. He actually sent me Rudolph Chase. So I got to send that back to him in Michigan. So you sent me back up here. The will common there, so that's forthcoming there. So stay tuned for that. They're coming up real soon. The shipping between Canada and the United States it gets really, really crazy. So now, before anybody tunes off here, you will tune in here to see what months here of a snack crate box I got right here. So this is, as I said, this is the individual uh, one I got here. So without further ado, I will crack this bad boy open here. Okay, I am kind of hungry there. This is now the afternoon on Monday afternoon here. I am kind of hungry there. I skipped my lunch, my lunch today there. So without further ado, I will show the camera first. Which country this is from? I have no idea what country this is from. Shout out what country this is from, please. Shout it out. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Shout it out. I can't hear you. Oh, this is from Czech Chechnya. Chechnya? Hmm. Okay. I have never heard of Chechnya. Is anybody out there familiar with Chechnya? If you are, please do comment it down below. Okay. Chechnya. Okay. And as usual, when you open the, well, I'll close it back up again here, I'll show you here. When you open the, when you open the flap here to show you the different country, you know, it, it gives you, actually inside, it gives you a synopsis or a menu of what's in the box right here. So that's what this is right here. A synopsis or menu, and I don't see my glasses here once, I think my glasses are a different part of the studio. One second. And to the match of the pause button right here, I got my glasses on right here. So yes, this is from Chechnya here. This here is the menu, uh, what you can get, so what's in the box right here. And I will, I will, I will, I won't spare. I won't read all this stuff right here. But this is a synopsis here. What it is. So let's see what it is here. So the first one here is Forksnick Duo. Right there. Looks like some kind of maybe chocolate thing, whatever. Um, and, 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 oh yeah, Bruxnick Duo, Bruxnick Duo, which is right, right there, and it says here, a tasty bear-shaped cake consists of two classic flavors. One side is filled with rich milk chocolate, and the other side is loaded with sweet caramel. Sounds interesting. Sounds like our arrow bar here we have here. Okay, now I won't be eating the whole thing. I'll just be taking a bite of these, these various things here and showing you here because otherwise this video would be too, too long. So it says bear shape there. So this is what they consider. It comes in comes in a little tray like this. A little tray. So that's what they consider bear shaped right there. It says a tasty bear shaped cake. So that's what they consider bear shaped. That's what they consider bear shaped right there. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the inside right there. So... Okay. Me, you want to try a bite? I'm going to be the rest of this one. Hmm. Light tasting. Good. Where's the filling? Well, I think I have most of the filling. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really good. Nice, nice snack right there. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Sometimes you get these things here, and they're so damn, um, gosh darn spicy, like with the Caribbean, whatever, you can't even eat them, so. Hopefully everybody's still watching right now. So the next thing I'm going to open here is, um, uh, Spruch Nick 
from Berkey. I'm sorry, if anybody out there is check, is check whatever, you know, I'm butchering your language. I'm very sorry about that. So, that is, that is, feel the love with family made potato crisps produced using only the finest, only the finest, never, not the dullest, but the finest, only the finest potatoes in the field and dusted generously with extra garlicky, garlicky, Seasoning. Oh boy, so you eat this here, you're, you're safe from vampires. Extra garlicky. Oh, wonderful. They're going to kissy kissy for a while. Don't eat them around, Daddy. Huh? Don't eat them around, Daddy. Yeah. Maria right now is all about Stranger Things right now, and Eddie coming back as a vampire. He, she's all about that right now. For anybody who doesn't know, there, the TV show Stranger Things that, um, They've finished off season four now, though we haven't seen the finale yet. There's no spoilers, please. And they have filmed season five, and Maria's all about Eddie. And the fact that what Eddie, what happened to Eddie in season four, the end of season four, and how he's going to be coming back in season five when they when they do air it. But no spoilers. Okay, so here we go. This is a potato crisp right here. Looks just like a regular. They call it a potato crisp, but that, this looks to me like just a regular chip here. So. Mm-hmm. You took the rest of it, didn't you? Yeah. Well, there wasn't much chocolate in it to begin with. You took the rest of the cake. You want to try, want to try one of these things? No. Yeah. Okay. This is similar to a sour cream and onion potato we have here from Lay's. Mm-hmm. Not very strong tasting. I mean, when you read this, this description of it there, and they say uh, extra garlicky there, you want, you're going to worry, but no, I don't be extra garlicky there at all. Okay? So, What's that? Perk Nick. Per Nick. Right there. <coughs> and this is here is. <coughs> this is here right there is. So, so far I've done the duo right there, which me and I finished off right there. We've, we've done that one. We just, I just tried this one right here. Just tried that one right there, which is the chips. And this one here is this one right there. And this one right here says, this this one here says, get a taste of tradition when you bite into this rich honey gingerbread cake, complemented by a sweet blueberry filling, and coated in a layer of milk chocolate. Sounds interesting. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I say too. There. And you see a picture of it right there, what it looks like right okay. there. Open it up. Oh boy, I, I think a lot of people love dealing with milk chocolate. Yeah, well, actually dark chocolate is better for you than milk what chocolate. So... Right Okay, oh, this is a really big one. No more comments there. No more comments right there. Okay, and you see how, look. Now, folks, this is a meal in, in and of itself. Look inside this. See, two layers. Definitely two layers right there. And my camera focus is definitely two layers right there. I'm not going to pull the whole thing out right there. Again, watch your comments. So, here we'll take a bite of it. Hmm. Hmm? This is what I'm going on. Okay. Hmm. Don't taste much of the filling. They mo they mo taste the cinnamon. You got some left side. I taste cinnamon. I taste mm -hmm. chocolate. Okay. That, that is palatable for sure, yes. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Next one here is a... Horiki Trubiki. <laughs> what? Oh. Hey, it's Czech. It's the Czech language. I'm sorry, I don't speak Czech, okay? I'm Canadian, I speak English. <laughs> if anybody out there is getting offended by what I'm saying, I'm very, very sorry, there, but I don't speak this language. I'm very sorry. That's the idea of this here. You eat snacks from a different country. So this one right here, which is listed right there. This one here says, uh, a, this unique snack features thin and crispy hand-rolled baked wafers smeared with melted butter and honey and filled with sweet vanilla cream. Okay. That sounds interesting. Again. So, so far, this whole box has been interesting. Okay. 
But you know, I, I love how universally they seal these packages here. So basically, you can't open it without cutting it there. Because they, they seal it universally here. Okay, it looks like two... It looks like cut breadsticks. It looks like a cut breadstick right there. It's, it's little, anybody who's had breadstick at a restaurant, it looks like a cut breadstick. See right there? So, okay, Maria, why don't you taste it first off camera? See how it tastes off camera. Remember, don't curse on camera. Or even off camera. Okay. Mmm. Crunchy. Yeah. Mmm. 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 Kind of bland. Mmm. Not much flavor to that one. Sorry to say it, but not. Very bland. Yeah, I think it's ball water in the kitchen if you want one. Mm hmm Ugh. <clears throat> I, I think she just got some aftertaste. I think she just, I think she just got some aftertaste, taste, folks. Okay, so now that my my box here actually comes with a soda here as well. So oh. this is um, Kofala, Kofala, Kofala Original. Oh, how much would you? <laughs> Maria's laughing her butt off on camera. She's talking. About, she's getting off that phone in a second here. Well, what would you? How would you pronounce that? Look at that. How would you pronounce that? <laughs> Kofala. Kofala? It's almost like they're trying to say cola with an F in there. Kofala. I don't know how else to say there. Kofala, you know. Well, before I lose viewers, before I, before everybody tunes off here and says, the heck with this, these two. Um, it doesn't yeah. list. Oh, Kofala original. Okay, so this right here. Uh, this oh. is, this, you, get this in, you get this in the Snack Crate Plus. Oh. Right down here. This is the drink part. Yes, it's not great plus. And this here says, This soft drink has been a hit with the Czech people ever since 1960. So, even older than me. Um, and it is made using a mixture of 14 herbs. No garlic, no, no tarlic, just herbs. 14 herbs and fruit juices to provide its unique spiced flavor. I like how they say unique spiced flavor. Okay, now I'm sure this is probably best served cold, but as you saw, it wasn't in the freezer, so I'll give it, I'll give it, a, notice how the can is very thin. Yeah. It's only 250 milliliters <clears throat> right there, so I guess they have, I guess they're in a metric system there too, in the check. Looks like a Red Bull can. Yeah, almost, well, almost, yeah, except Red Bull, I think, is a little bit taller, so here we go. Whoa. What? Yep, yeah, it tastes the spices right off, that's for sure. Oh, thanks. Yeah, definitely spicy, yeah. Or the herb, yeah. What, hmm? What? Oh, yeah. You might have to bring your chair closer to just be off computer, off camera here. I'll be adventurous. You'll be adventurous, okay. And the last thing here in this box here is something called Pedro. Pedro, a Mexican from Czech? Okay. Because pet, well, it looks like Mexican. I'm not trying to be like, well, by the way, buddy, but it looks like Spanish right there with a with a sombrero right there. It looks Spanish. Looks looks like a Mexican right over. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. And so this here is, um, uh, yeah. made with real fruit juice, the sweet, sour, and tangy flavors of these chewy strawberry ribbons will leave your mouth watering, and while we'll I probably need to have more of the drink. Um, leave us watering and your eyebrows raised. In what way? In what way are the eyebrows going to be raised? I don't know. So, anyways, here, these are strawberry, what do they call them, strips? Ribbons. Ribbons. I have never heard these things called that before. Ribbons. Okay. So, this is last, last here that I've, uh, in the box here. And again, maybe Maria here might join me here, here again. Oh, it looks like, um, yeah. Like strips, almost like the um, uh, fruit roll-ups in a strip, oh. or the other other gum, or the other the old uh, dry gum. You see hockey cards, that strip, oh, that strip, that strip gum. You see the hockey cards many years ago. Yeah, yeah, I remember those. Maybe strips. I'm showing my age right now, saying that one. I don't know. Oh God, I remember those. Strips. Yeah, I remember you see hockey hockey cards and, and packs. You get a strip of gum with them. So that's how they look right there. Sometimes you get like the gum in. Uh, that's how they look right there. Trading okay? cards or. Uh, 
try to get up again. You know? Mm-hmm. Sometimes you get, like, the gum and, like, trading cards and stuff. Very sugary. Hmm. 15% real fruit juice, palm oil free. And for anybody out there who is, who is a vegan, this is part of a vegan diet right there. Mm-hmm. All right. I can have more of those. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm watching down here with my cola. Oh, that's plenty of things. Well, yeah. Okay, and, and have a taste of clean water. Well, there you go, everybody there. That was it on 20 minutes there, so I hope you enjoyed watching and listening to us try the snack crate here from the check there. My thanks to Snack Crate there for putting it together for, there, uh, for me there, shipping it out there in a timely fashion. I'll be getting another Snack Crate there coming real soon there. Snack Crate for August was delayed, probably because of shipping. They sent me an email a week or so ago saying it's been delayed because they're still piecing it together there, but I, it is on the way. So there'll be a new Snack Crate video cutter coming real soon there. So if you enjoy watching this video, please do be sure to comment there down below. And if you want more subscribe, subscribers, hope you enjoy watching this video. If you are a new viewer here to the channel, hopefully by by now you've down below and to the right to hit the subscribe button there, please, to check out our, all of our other videos there. And as I said, if you want to check out our other uh, snack crate videos there, they're on a playlist here on the channel there. So it's not a bad, not a bad box there. So what would you what would you rate the box out of ten, Maria? What would you rate it out of ten? Quickly, what would you rate it out of ten? Huh? Seven. Okay. She gives it 7 out of 10. I will give it an 8 out of 10 because there's more things in here I could eat than previous boxes. So I'll give it an 8 out of 10 because there's nothing here that uh, I'll, I'll even finish up this cooler right here. So I'll give it an 8 out of 10. So I thank you very much for watching. Please do come on back for more fun, interactive videos. They're coming real soon there. If the weather's nice where you are, hope you get up there and enjoy it there. If, the, if your kids are back to school right now, I hope they're enjoying being back to school there. Uh, for, us, for the kids here in Toronto, they have another month off from school there, there, so they're still enjoying the time off here. And believe me, everything is open here in Toronto now, folks, there, so if anybody out there looking for a place to go to hang out for vacation, can say come on, on, on up here to Toronto because we have all of our exhibits, all our thrift structures are now open again. Just please check with the, the Federal Canada website there for a vaccination requirements before you do, do travel here. And our Canadian airport here in Toronto, Pearson, it's actually getting better. They've hired more people. They have um, uh, cut down the amount of uh, planes coming in every day. There. So Pierce is actually improving there. So please come on here. Say hi there. And if anybody's going to be coming to Toronto to any pop hunting, please do DM me right there on IG. If I have time in the, before September, if I have time, I can maybe meet up with you there. Go on pop hunt there. So this is Rob, aka Rob Collector, saying thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. Everybody, please stay safe, stay hydrated. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.